Uh, where's Morden? Morden's alive in my save. I uploaded the right save. Yeah, I did, because I have all the, like, um, Shadow Broker stuff, which I didn't before. Okay, maybe I'll meet Morden later? A cyber analyst over in Intel told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the wall. The Turians have the biggest fleet in the galaxy. And we're only a few Mass Effect relays away from the whole mess. Yeah, right there. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. <laughs> that means he's read some. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. You might not like me much, Rex, but you're gonna have to trust me here. What I'll do is give you a chance to prove your apology meant something. I considered you a friend, Shepard. I'd like to get back to that. Me too, Rex! Fair enough. <laughs> Me too! Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> <laughs> He's correct. It was a delicacy in our Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's Solarian! He's like, what the heck? What the heck, man? What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. Okay, also, uh, that reminded me, actually, that I was saying something about the Deluxe Edition before we landed on Sarkesh, and I was looking, and there's like, there's like the regular, and the Deluxe, and like the Ultra Deluxe, and the Supreme, like, I don't even know, there's like four, the Collector's Edition, all this stuff already, right, which I think it's kind of hilarious to sell a Collector's Edition before you've even sold any of the game, before you even, before you even know if it's gonna do well or not, it's like, oh, have a Collector's Edition, I think it's funny just in general in games that so they do that, but, um, uh, the deluxe edition, because I was like, I'll just get the normal version, and a lot of the other stuff's like multiplayer packs and stuff that I'm not super interested in, even though the multiplayer does look pretty cool. It sounds pretty cool anyway, so I might try it out. But the deluxe edition, <laughs> you're reading the list, and all of a sudden, the, the thing that just popped out to me was on the bullet list, just Pet Pie Jack. It's like the second one from the bottom, and I was like, What? What? Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, I am getting the deluxe edition, and if I have to pre-order it to get the pie jack, I'm doing it. I want a pet pie jack. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so cool. Like, I'm gonna be like, I always love sci-fi novels where the main character has like a little like, I don't know, alien tree squirrel cat thing, you know, that hangs around with them. Like, I don't know, I really love that. So I'm like super excited. <laughs> I'm super excited to have a pet pie jack. <laughs> It's gonna be awesome. I did say this last time because it sounded, I assumed there was a reason, but I did want to get a better explanation on why they use some of the females as... That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females exactly. suggested yep. it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. If their few fertile females your die... Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Krogan like Rex deserve a second chance, I, and it's not really fair that the Krogan now, because most of the Krogan from that time die. They're, they're all dead now, you know? So, well, most of them are. And so, like, they've paid the price for, for what they did. And what they did before was, was bad. Like, it was bad when the Salarians uplifted them, but they had no choice. Like, they really, it was either that or all die to the Rachni. But then, the Krogan started not only just taking planets that like they weren't just like populating empty planets they started populating planets that were already inhabited and kicking the people out and then the krogan guy was like you know you watch your planets take them back and it was like this huge war you know and then like they fought for like i don't know like a hundred years or something and this was the best thing they could think this was this was the most peaceful way without committing a genocide that they could think of and I honestly at the time I think it was the best decision it was the best decision at the time 
doesn't mean it's come without consequences, you know? Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our <laughs> And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. And the fact that the Krogan used to span entire, like, entire, entire systems, and now basically all of them can live on one planet, that should tell you something. That should tell you something about the extreme loss they've suffered. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this Rex! Was My people have spent too much time That's selling true. ourselves out. There's so and many spread out to the stars. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant yes! monsters. Rex! Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars. <laughs> the last time I was at the Citadel, <laughs> I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till this war. Just <laughs> See, I love this game. Little gems just everywhere. It's the best. It gives me happy feelings, which is good because the rest of the game gives you really sad feelings. All right, Rex. I'll be going now. Yeah. I'll be going now. I should go. I should go. I actually started following because the so so um, um they, they revealed who the voice actors are going to be for Andromeda for the male and the female writer, and they were I think people started and kind of have been calling them like femme writer and, and male writer right, but I think I, I follow I started following the female uh, writer the voice actors for for the female writer, and she actually asked. Um, because somebody said something to her on the Twitter on the day it was revealed and she was answering those questions. She actually said, you know, well, it's not really a male and female thing. She's like, I would, it's, it's more of a relation, it's a, it's a relationship between the two, you know? It's like, it's, it's more, she's like, I would prefer a cis writer and a bro writer. And I saw a post later that was like, so she has spoken and so it shall be. And it seems to have taken hold in the community, so... I think it's great, so, which besides, to me, it's like saying femme writer is just a bit weird, because I'm just so used to saying femship, you know, and maleship, you know, like, that's, that's Shepard's thing. But I love that we can now differentiate even more between Shepard and Rider, you know, so it's bro Rider and cis Rider. I love it. And I've been following her on Twitter. I just started following the bro Rider the other day, too, because I followed the cis Rider because I was like, that's who I'll be playing, right? So I'm like... I follow her on the Twitter, and then I'm like, well, I should probably follow the dude writer, too, just to make things even. <laughs> so, I'm excited. I'm so excited. All right, you are... Major Kiri! All right, good. Commander Shepard, it's Major Kiri. I'd heard Have we coming. met? Oh, my gosh. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. Yeah, he has. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. <laughs> You saved my men. Oh, I like how we're both just kind of kicking Good back. Good to see a friendly face, Major. Garrus Vicarian. Always a I love bringing Garrus. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. <laughs> Kiri, he's so positive. He's always so positive. And I love, I love that depending on who you bring, they will react to, at least in major missions, they will react to, like, Garrus reacting to Kirihi. Like, that's great. And I love it when my old crewmates talk, too. Like, when like when Garrus and Rex talk. But it, you, that was just something extra that they threw in. Because Garrus was there, but, I mean, obviously Yavik wasn't. So he doesn't say anything. How'd you get posted to this base, Major? I led the team on... Shepard's relaxed stance, emails. though, always Nasty makes business. me laugh. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. Yeah. Test that's subjects good. were unaccounted for. The females easily escaped his lab. What do you think about bringing the female Krogan here? Our scientists say it's important to preserve the females. Evolutionary paradox. <laughs> I say when people know you're hiding something valuable, they'll want to steal it. I love Kiri. Either way, I have my orders. They'll be your problem soon enough. Uh, Kiri! I really do. I love how in Mass Effect 3, a lot of even like the smaller characters, even the major characters, get really fleshed out. Like Shepard saying, 
this if this war has taught me anything it's that every species has a right to thrive that showed me that she's changed a little bit since mass effect 2 and i loved that i loved seeing an evolution of my own character even that was it was slightly like i made the choice but it wasn't i wasn't exactly sure how she was going to say it and i like that in mass effect 3 your shepherd has the most personality that she's ever he or she's ever had i guess we're both still feeling the effects of burmire yes ironic you destroyed the genophage cure, yet now it's the key to an alliance. That's You're true. You'll off with Erdnot Rex's legend within STG. <laughs> um, it's true. I've had two chances now where I could have, where I destroyed the uh, the genophage cure. I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Our colony's three systems away. <laughs> he wasn't pleased with the reception. Can't say I blame him. Apologies, but better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our med pay couldn't handle it. <laughs> okay, had a bit of an interrupt. Let's see, so we asked Vermeer Reapers. Are the Salarians prepared for war with the Reapers? I've heard what they're doing to your Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. Though rumors suggest you're building a super weapon. <laughs> a super weapon? This business with the females is part of it. I need the Turians' support, and they need the Krogans. Which is why I never became a diplomat. Too much handholding. Leave it to the Dalatresses. Leave it to the Dalatresses. Security seems high. You expecting trouble? It's the Reaper War! Our in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. A good principle to live by. Yes. <laughs> He's a <laughs> friend. A Prothean. Prothean. Of course. Amazing what they can do with genetic modification these days. Some new psychological tactics. Oh, commander. boy. Give the Reapers oh, a good boy. scare. And what are you really? Drell? Turian? <laughs> Prothean. Oh. I see. Yeah. Shepard's just like, don't ask. <laughs> don't even ask. <laughs> uh, I think we got them all. Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And, Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support. Yes, Kirihi! You'd do that. Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. Good day. See, that's the thing. I don't need the Salarian Dalatress. I have Kirihi. You'd think the Asari could do something about the Reapers. My friend said there was some sort of diplomatic summit, but the Asari wouldn't attend. Did he say why? Apparently, they think there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. For once, I agree with them. Only a fool would trust the Krogan. You need them! I don't understand why everyone's making a big deal. It's like, um, oh, they're the heaviest hitters in the galaxy. That's Please right. <laughs> That's right. Please don't touch that. Oh, we should go get a look, too. Sirkesh is quite beautiful. All rainforesty. Agree with him or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. But they're gonna cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote you. Until then, stay sharp and keep your <laughs> mouth shut. Me. This is no. a restricted area. No. I love that they, they, they tell you, though. Another incursion? Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. It's like someone's testing our defenses. Appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. But that's something that tells you that tells you what Javik thinks is pretty. I this reminded me of like Aztec uh, like ruins and stuff. I was like, oh, that's cool. Makes sense. It's kind of a jungly environment, you know. I don't like what I'm hearing. What? There was some outbound com traffic 20 minutes ago from inside the base. And? 
A burst transmission, fully encoded, with no identity signature. No signature? That's against the protocol. I know. Someone's passing a message. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, then why aren't you guys, like, in a higher alert stage? Like, oh my gosh. Send confirmation to the Damatrast that the exchange is proceeding. Yes, sir. And ask her for more warning the next time the Krogan leader shows up unannounced. Yes, sir. I wasn't serious. She'll maroon you onto Chunka with raw meat strapped to your back <laughs> to do that. Oh. <laughs> then she'll record the Thresher Maws eating you as a warning to anyone else who challenges her. <laughs> oh, buddy. Nothing else? Okay. I do love Sir Cash. I think it's quite pretty. I wish we could run around more on, like, the planet's surface, but... That many trees would probably be hard to, you know, work with. I want top priority. Oops. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. Ah! What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. I like Paddock Wicks. I like him a lot. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator. When, when do you're I ready. get to see Morden? Now take this elevator down, and someone will... Alert. Threat condition 2 has been declared. Scramble I knew it! Oh no. Rex! Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. <gasps> oh, okay. This is different. Paddock's gonna die, isn't he? Now I'm sad. I liked Paddock a lot. He definitely was a, con a, a contender for favorite Solarian. But I'm gonna meet Morden now, I bet. I think last time he came with me. Morden! Yeah, Garrus, let your armor come in. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Morden! Shepard, excellent timing. Good to <laughs> Morden? Eyesight still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Helped the ah. Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free ah. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes, can explain later. Security warning's not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. Yeah. These didn't survive. Is it because we destroyed Malin's research? Unlikely. Cellular degeneration in progress when females discovered. Couldn't help them. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. Oh, buddy. She's still here. Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Mm. Problematic. Understatement. <gasps> Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. Yeah, especially because she's I'm stuck, Commander Shepherd, stuck in a thing. Baby. Are you here to kill me? That would serve no tactical purpose. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? <laughs> this gives me chills with the music and like her voice and everything. It's like so spooky. Have the Solarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought ha. it. Alert. Unidentified missiles have breached the perimeter. 
Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. What? We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. How is that even possible? What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Whoa. I didn't know I had that. Cerberus, yeah. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimen. Uh... Oh! Now, please release Krogan. What? I can't believe Morden shocked him. Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next shop. Wow, this is weird. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage Cure. You'll see Tachanka again, I promise. Get to elevator, Shepard. Why can't I go with him? Dr. Morden Solis. There, I think, if you run around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morning Solus 178.3. Malin's cure disrupting autoimmune response. Krogan females dying. Should never have destroyed Malin's research. Taking too long to determine this cause. Is to females beyond hope. Can only control their pain. Attempting hormone treatments on last one. Only chance to save her. I shouldn't have destroyed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am legitimately the my biggest regret from Mass Effect 2 is destroying put all research subjects into immediate destroying lockdown. the genophage yeah. cure. Haha! <laughs> 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 yeah. Fix it! These are the most technologically advanced race in the galaxy. And they're having troubles with like technology. Like it, I'm, like somehow Cerberus is able to top the Solarian technology and block their communications. Log Morden Solus 162.3 used STG ties to secure station here. Gained autonomy in caring for Krogan test subjects. Females were obviously dying. Barbaric experiments. Malin's fault. My responsibility to fix. Need to save them. No more. No more dead. Oh, Morden, it's okay, buddy. Something's wrong with the elevator. Ah. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Ah. Oh, Get crap. Back. Get back! We were in armor, so with shields. Commander Shepard, are you all right? Is there another way out of here? So we were okay. But... Fortunately, that guy didn't make it. Shepard, Cerberus Force is trying to locate female. Quarantine checkpoint under I'm attack. I'm trying. 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 I didn't ever notice really that we were underwater though before. That's cool. Claim. Shepard, it's Rex. I took the shuttle. Take the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. Dude, you took my. This looks worse. Whoa! Than they are just bombing. Indiscriminately. Oh, okay. I can't see what you guys are firing at. Oh man! Holy crap! They all just died. Got you. I can't really see it. Don't I have the thingy that lets me see through smoke? I guess not. Um, let me switch to the shuriken. Oh, whoa, didn't work. There we go. I need to, uh... I need to get, uh, my cryo ammo on. All squads, be advised for encountering resistance from non-selective hostiles. Where are you? I can't. Why can't I? I thought I still had that on. It's like not focusing on him. Anymore? Yep. Yeah. Why 
Why is my zoom not working? Oh, come on. Go up and around. You know how to do that. There we go. The female isn't going to last long against this sort of firepower. Alright. Shepard, Cerberus. Ah! We're on our how do I away. run? I don't remember how to run. No, it's over there, but we gotta go in here. Ah, the Yog! Hello! Hello, Yog! Yeah, because that was such a good idea with the Krogan! I cannot believe that they think. Easy to say until you've had to fight. Exactly. The shadow broker was a yog. Like, oh my gosh, this is basically like uplifting the Krogan all over again. That that kind of blew my mind there. I was like, are you serious? Oh, cause there. Oh, there's only two, right? So there's a third one running around. All right, I think I'm gonna call it here. Hopefully, I'm able to split these into decent half to half an hour size segments. But um, yeah, so we finally we finally started another main mission. We've met Rex again and Morden. I don't think Rex ever met Morden except for when I brought him down to the planet. I think yeah, that one time. But oh man, I'm ex I'm excited. Despite my yawning, this is this is getting intense. This was a pretty intense fight. I like it. It's a good one. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying. I'll see you in the next one.